So now I'm going to show you how to write down any number as a product prime factors. So let's write down 120 as a product of prime factors. First of all, what you need to do is think of two numbers which multiply together to give you 120. The easiest one to go for is 12 times 10 because you have a zero at the end of 120. Right, next thing you need to do now is if you get a prime number you need to circle it. If it's not a prime number you need to split the number up again into a pair of factors. 12 isn't a prime number so we need to split this up into another pair of factors. Let's go with 2 times 6. Two is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. Six is not a prime number, so I'm going to split this number up into another pair of factors. This time I'm going to go with uh, three times two. Three is a prime number, so circle it. Two is a prime number, so circle it. All I need to do now is go back to 10 and split this one up into another pair of factors. Let's go with 2 times 5. 2 is a prime number, so circle it. 5 is a prime number, so circle it. All these numbers which I've circled are prime factors of 120. Now the question asks you to write down the product of prime factors. So what you need to do is write all these prime factors down and insert multiplication signs between the prime factors. All right, this is known as the product of prime factors. If you multiply all these numbers together, it gives you 120 which is the number at the top of the factor tray. Let's go do another example. So let's write down 72 as a product of prime factors. This time we haven't got a zero at the end um, so let's go with the two times table. Alright, for half 72 we get 36, so 2 times 36 is 72. 2 is a prime number, so circle it. 36 is a prime, so let's split this number up. Again, let's go with the 2 times tables, so let's go 2 times 18. Again, 2 is a prime number, so circle it. 18 isn't prime, so split it up. This time I'm going to go with 3 times 6. 3 is prime, so circle it. 6 isn't prime, so split it up again. This time I'm going to go with 2 times 3. All we need to do now is write down our product supply factors. So if we put all these numbers together and put multiplication signs between each one, and that is the product supply factors. If the question asks you to write the product of prime factors using powers, you can write it down as 2 to the power of 3 because you have 3 2s being multiplied and times that by 3 squared because there are 2 3's being multiplied.